Air travel from Florida and all across the country is being impacted by Hurricane Milton. 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe is live in studio with how flights at Bradley International Airport were faring this morning. That's right, Rich. Lines were significantly shorter and some even non-existent at Bradley this morning as travelers felt the impact of Hurricane Milton even here in the Northeast. All flights to Tampa, Orlando, Vera Beach, Miami and West Palm Beach Thursday were canceled, leaving some travelers with canceled vacations and others without a way home. Airlines are urging anyone who has travel plans to Florida this week to check their flight status before they head to the airport. Several Florida airports are closed and will not open until it is safe to do so. I spoke with some travelers from St. Augustine and they told me how they're mentally preparing to return home. You know, try not to be so focused on materialistic things because I mean it just shows that materials can just be gone in a moment. So just, you know, making sure that you're spending time with your family and friends and those are really important things. According to AAA Northeast, some airlines have been issuing waivers to allow travelers to change their tickets at no extra charge, even if they have basic economy fare. Check with your airlines to see if this may apply to you. As the storm tracks farther east and recovery efforts begin, 22 News will continue to monitor flight status and provide updates as they become available. Working for you live in studio, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.